Hi, this is Jimmy Abaddon, and welcome to my how to install Terra Offline Private Server for Windows PC. This is the version of the game that came out in 2013 as an alpha version. So this means the Island of Dawn is the starter zone. So if you miss this game and you're feeling nostalgic, then this is the guide you want to follow. For this tutorial, you're required to have two things. The zip file Terra New Shock, which you can find in my video description below. Second, you're going to need some kind of software like WinRAR in order to unpack those contents. With that being said, let's get started. On the top right corner of my screen, I have my Terra New Shock zip file. I'm going to go ahead and drag the zip file on the left side of my screen. Now I'm going to right click this zip file and I'm going to click on extract here. As you can see, as it's extracting the contents, it creates its own folder, Terra New Shock. Please be patient until all contents are extracted so we can continue the tutorial. All right, so after you're done extracting all the contents, we can now continue our tutorial. By the way, you no longer need the zip file anymore, so you can keep it as a backup if you want, or you can just delete it if you want. Everything that we extracted is now on this folder. Go ahead and open up the Terra New Shock folder. As you can see, there's three folders inside. The initial setup, the Terra private client, and the Terra private server. The only folders that we're going to fuck with is the initial setup and the Terra private server. Please do not delete or remove anything on these folders or shit won't work. Thank you. Now let's get started with the initial setup. The first step is installing Java. You need a specific version if you want to follow along. The version I have here is 17.1, so we're going to go ahead and click on it. Here is the Java Development Kit 17.0.1. This is the version you want if you want to follow along. We're going to click on Next. And it's going to want to install this into C, Program Files, Java, JDK, 17.0.1. Yes, that's what you want, okay? Don't change that shit. Hit Next. All right, perfect. It's done. So once you get to this point, just hit Close. Okay, we just finished the first step. Very good. Now we can move on to the second step. Environmental variables, copy and paste. Open this document folder. Okay, now what we're going to do is where it says here, new variable name. We're going to highlight this with our mouse. We're going to right click this and then we're going to click on copy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the start menu. We're going to go to the settings menu. And then we're going to go to system. We're going to scroll down to where it says about. Click on about. On the right side of your screen, it says here advanced system settings. Click it. You can now close the settings menu on the top because this is all we're going to need to work with. I'm going to snap the, the work document on the left to keep this consistent. Okay. So we're going to zoom out a little so you can see here. We're going to go ahead again. This is, has to be copied. Okay. Now on this side, on the bottom, it says here environmental variables. Click it. Now on the bottom over here, click on new. Where it says variable name, right click and hit paste. Now we're going to go back to the word document. We're going to go ahead and highlight this. Exactly. Right click and hit copy. Now we're going to click under it where it says variable value, right click and hit paste. Now you can hit OK. Now we're going to go back to the Word document and we're going to highlight this next. We're going to right click this and hit copy. We're going to go back to this again. This time we're going to look for something called path. Select it, click on edit, and now click on new. Now where it says new, right click this, click on paste. Now you can hit OK. That's it. You're done. You can hit OK now. And you can hit OK now. And you're finished with this step. You can now close this. Very simple. 
Now that we have finished the second step, it's time to proceed on the third step. Sitting up XAMPP. Double click on it. Once you double click on it, it's going to open up your command prompt. Don't freak out. This is super easy. Just click on the one key on your keyboard and hit enter. Once it says press any key to continue, as you can see down here, press any key to continue, just hit space key and you're done. You can now close it. Now we're going to start XAMPP control. Double click on it. Once you double click on it, it's going to open it up. Now this is very important. Pay attention. Click on start. You may get a Windows firewall telling you if you want to allow this. Make sure you click on allow. The next step is my SQL. Hit start. Again, Windows firewall might ask you if you want to allow. Click on allow. Once these two are green, you can now register your account and log in. It's going to open up your web browser because this is a shortcut to your web browser. Here it is. Now what you have to do is click on register. Where it says username, go ahead and type your username. I typed cake because why not? For your password, just put a secure password, doesn't matter. Your email can be fake, it doesn't have to be a real email. Once you finish, you can now click on register. Be patient. This takes a little time. Now, once it says registration complete, please check your email to activate your account. Keep in mind, this is a private server. You do not have to check your email to activate the account. So you're set. Just click on login and put your password and username. It says, welcome user cake. You're successfully logged in. Now, if you want to access the admin account, you can definitely do that. This is completely optional. Admin login is completely optional. You do not have to do this, but I'll show you how it works. You double click on admin login. Over here where it says TerraShock, click on it. Accounts. Here is the account, Cake. And of course, Dreamy Abaddon, because that was my last test. Now in this tutorial, we're not going to go over admin shit. So we're going to go ahead and close this. You can close the web browser completely. We're done. And you can also stop these for the XAMPP. You can now stop these two. And then make sure you click on quit. That's it. You're done. You have now installed a fully working Terra offline private server. If you want to play it, all you have to do now is to click on the new Terra Shock folder. Always click on the Terra private server and always start the XAMPP control. Make sure you have these two checked green. Once they're green light, then you can click on start game server. This will initiate the game server. Once it says game server started, you are good to go. You can now click on play game. Once you click on play game, it'll open up the launcher and the command prompt. Just click on user. For user, you're going to type in the user account and password that you registered. So if you remembered, for me it was cake. And then just click on login. Once you click on login, it says here authorization success login okay. 
Now you can click on play right here. You can go ahead and hit Alt Enter to go full screen mode. The answers we now seek. We're going to do this quick demo so you can see how this works. We're going to click on New Character. Select, next, edit name, cake, hit OK, finish, we're going to select cake and we're going to hit play. of dawn now we'll see some action patience recruit whatever's on that island wiped out the first expedition it's a graveyard for the arrogant ha! a graveyard for anyone who dares to cross swords with me maybe who's with me count me in on the day I heard about a mysterious island rising out of the sea I dreamed I'd see it for myself then you need more ambitious dreams, my friend. Mysterious Island equals ancient treasures, equals the perfect place for me. By the Titans, that island is huge. Enough chatter, recruits. Get down there and report for duty for the Federation. Congratulations, you're now playing the alpha version of the game. It's going to ask you if you want to buy the game, but obviously you can't buy the game anymore since the game is changed. It's not free to play. The official servers do not have Island of the Dawn as a starting zone, but this game does because this is the alpha. So you get to enjoy the game completely as the way it was meant to be. Before all the official changes, of course. Keep in mind, this is an offline private server. Everything is going to be the same as it was when the game launched and when it was in alpha as well. All the quests are going to be exactly the way it is. Even the menu and UI. You even have bandages. We don't have bandage anymore in the official game. But there's bandage, there's campfires. All the stuff that is now gone from the official server is all back here in the original. Even the menus are exactly the way it was. Now, if you click on system and you want to log out of the game and you hit exit game, you're going to be hit with this error. Do not freak out. This is normal and it's always going to happen. This is part of the way it's designed. You don't have to worry about this message. Just hit OK. There's nothing wrong. Everything will be the same as soon as you log back in. Okay. So once you want to quit the game, that's, what's, that's what you should expect. You can also close these, close all these folders, close everything. You don't need the server running anymore. So you can stop these as well and then quit. And that's it. Every time you want to go back in the game, just click on the Terra New Shock folder. Click on the Terra Private Server folder. Start the XMP control. Make sure you check those things I told you about. Start the game server and play the game. That's it. Every time you want to play the game, that's all you have to do. One, two, three, you're in the game. That's it.
Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to install an offline private Terra server, 2013 version of the game, Alpha. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you would like to learn how to host your own online private server so your friends can join you, feel free to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment below letting me know. Thank you and have fun. Bye!